Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on creating a Google account. So let's talk about what Google is. Yeah, Karen, everybody first knows of Google all. it, Google it, right? Yeah, is Google just for searching? No, it's not. Um, Google actually has a whole suite of um, applications that you can use on your computer or your mobile device. Right. And um, you can also, sh you know, just share documents with people and things like that. And they have a lot of features. So today we're going to show you how to create a Google account so you can get involved in the Google world. Right. Because the only way to really use the full functionality of these Google account or these Google apps is to have a Google account. Sure. And you may be familiar with Gmail. Gmail yep. is uh, Google's mail program. There's Google Drive, which is their cloud service. Right. And Google Docs was the first, I think, yep. uh, it's app. It's kind of a word processing right. program. Right, They have a, sh um, and a, uh, a data sheet program and uh, uh, Presentations, forms. Yeah, everything. Forms, a whole bunch. And we're going to be talking about those. And it's also good to create your Google account um, if you like YouTube. Because on YouTube, you need to have a Google account and be signed in to subscribe to a channel. Right. Or to like a channel right. to help your favorite video creators grow their yeah. channel. Like us. Like us. So, <laughs> so hint, 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 create your Google account and subscribe to our Sync Sisters channel. Please. Right. And like our videos when you watch them. That's the only way we can keep And it. oh, also, um, if you're signed into Google, your Google yeah. account with maps, it's really awesome. Oh, you can yeah. save maps right. and do a lot of advanced features. Right. That's awesome. So let's, get, let's do it. Let's create an account. So what we're going to do, we're here, uh, we're on a Mac right now. You could be really on any computer in a web browser, or you could be on your mobile device in a web browser to yep. do this. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to go to accounts.google.com. Right. Accounts.google.com. And it's going to come up with a screen, and it might look a tiny bit different yep. depending on what you've done before. Many times people have created a Google account and signed in before, and they don't even know it. So right. um, if it doesn't look this way, we're going to show you a little bit different. But we've got here where we've got uh, it brought, brought up the name that we last right. signed in with, and it says next. And right so below if you, it. If you've never signed in, that might be blank. That might be blank. You might have nothing here. Right. right. Which is fine. And then we have create account down below. But I'm going to just show you one thing. If I hit next here, this might be the way yours comes up if you've yeah. logged in before. And down below, it'll say not create account, but sign in with a different account. Right. And if you click on that, it brings you to the page that says create account. Right. So just yep. you might have to futz, thru, futz around a little bit to yeah. find the create account. But yeah. once you find it, click on it, and it's going to come up and ask you to create a Google account. Right. Then it's pretty easy. You just go through and... Um, You're going to enter your info. <clears throat> right. Your name. Last name, of course. Okay. And then... And your username. You and you can see here where uh, your username is always for Google um, an email address. Okay. You can see what they've defaulted here with grayed out at gmail.com. This is a little tricky. They're trying to force you to get a Gmail Email, uh, account, email right? Which is free, so no big deal. You could, but right. if you already have an email address that you like and you don't want to create a G G Gmail one, look down here. I prefer to use my current email address. So you could click on that, and then it will take you a different screen. And you could put in a Yahoo email address or any any email, right? Right, right. right. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign up for one. Um, yep. Oh, well, let's let's. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yep. That's okay. Good. So we're going to type in a name, Ethel Gillette, um, yep. our late grandma, at gmail.com. We're going to get her an email. And we're going to go down and we're going to create a password. Now let's okay. pause for a minute here because yeah. um, if this wasn't a brand new one, it might say create create your, do you want to create a new one? Right. 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 If it was not one that we've done before. Right. Could right. be. Yep. So that might come up too, and that just follow those steps. Right. Password strength. So now as you're typing your password over to the left, it's going to show you what a strong password is. This one's too short, first of all. So as I type, you're going to see, um, and as I put some numbers in, it, it makes a strong account. Yep. So numbers go. help. I got to confirm it. Type it in again. Make sure you yep. got it right. Now you got to do a birthday. Yep. So you got to put your birthday in. This is not my birthday. It's just a birthday. <laughs> you are not that old. I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm other, let's say. Oh, other. And then, oh, I suppose uh, nowadays, right? Right. Totally. Exactly. So now I'm going to type in a mobile phone number and current email address. Now, 
This is something you can put in, and, and this is a great, uh, a nice feature that they have. It's kind of a, um, a rescue email account. So mm -hmm. if something happens and you you completely are locked out of your right. Google account, you've got a backup. So you can go ahead and put one in. Yeah, or maybe this is the main email address that you use, and the, the one that you're using for your Google Drive is you're just going to use it more like a username and not really use it. So right. if they want to contact you, you want to make you sure want, it's your right, mail. Right, exactly, because this could just be a login for right. you, yeah. for your Google yep. stuff, and you never use it for mail. Um, then you have to prove that you're not a robot. Um, this is uh, a verification. You so you go ahead and you type in mm -hmm. what you see in this little box. So I think that's P -R -I -C -O -T. These are always very tricky. <laughs> ABE 500, I think. We'll see. And location, and then you have to agree to the terms, of course, and you say next step, and yes, it took that. Uh, it asks here, it's asking me, we're in Google Chrome, which is Google's um, web, web browser, browser. Yeah. and they'll all ask a little bit differently. If you Safari want to save would your ask password. it differently, and we're going to go ahead and say, okay, save the password. Um, we're almost done. They want to verify our account before we can start using yeah. it. So it's going to ask for the phone number and do you want a call or a text message? And I'm going to yeah. say continue. And then um, it's going to, on my phone, on my mobile device, which I can't really show yeah, you. Yeah, we can't show you, but you just got a text from them just with got a code. text with a code. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type the code in. Yeah. Once I bring there it, it up, is. There. Okay. 918 So if you did a text, it'll show up as a text in the screen before. And if you picked email, it'll be an email to you. A and phone call a was your other option, not oh, email. Okay. Yeah, which All is right. interesting. So This is something call. you see quite a bit in verification of right. things. It's just double verification. Verification to make sure somebody doesn't use your information somewhere right. else. So now we've got our account. And it says our new email address is ethel.gillette at gmail.com. Yep. And thanks for creating the account. Now we can subscribe to channels on YouTube, yep. video chat, save favorite places on maps, and lots more. So let's go up to um, under the green. You can see that you're signed in now yep. as, as the new person you just created. Right. Exactly. And sometimes you will end up having a, a bunch of different Google accounts. I have a personal one. I have a work one. I have right. a volunteer one. And they would all show up there. Right. And that's how you create a Google account. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.